Sticky pipes! But Peter, we need to give you a nickname. Peter Pan was at first you know, a good nickname for you, but you've graduated from Peter Pan. We need a nickname for Peter. That's your homework assignment. You gotta work on a nickname. And you as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. And it's not a heat pump because it's not a Bosch. We're at this service call where it's actually was here for a heating noise, but now they also said, listen, the first floor air conditioning isn't working. And I'm like, let's look at the temperature outside, right? And the temperature is, well, not in Charleston, 64 in Charleston. And I'm not there. I was supposed to have been there, but it is, come on. There we go. It is, hold on, one more. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 58 degrees. It's 58 degrees. It's cold. Shiver me timbers, it's cold. First floor AC, not, not cooling, right? So here we are. We got this Bryant 13 sear uh, condensing unit. And we hooked up, you know, I wasn't getting the testos, but we hooked up the gauges and that's what we're working with, All right? See that? Almost equal. So hold that right there. We're gonna pull the disconnect out. Or not, damn. And look at our pressure gauges. They're still the same. What does that tell you? That it's not low on the pressure? <sighs> we'll try again. So the unit was running. We had pressures. You took the... The pressures. Did you notice anything different with the pressures? No. You didn't notice anything different? Okay. You notice anything different when the system was running to the, the pressures then and the pressures now? I would have to look back at the pressures. Let's go to the videotape. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while the system was running, th this is where the pressures were at, mm -hmm. right? So what does that tell you? That it is low. I'm trying, I'm, 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 I'm trying to make sense of it. I know. So same pressures on and off. Yes, the refrigerant pressures did not change with the system on or off. Okay. What does that tell you? I don't want to keep giving wrong answers now. Oh, listen, you're learning. I know. I already gave What's the first thing that came to your mind? Okay, low, not low, low. N not low. Not low, right? That okay, that, that's... What normally happens... Okay, when power is applied to the contact, mm -hmm. right? What powers? What gets power when the contact is closed? When it's pulled in? Yes. What what gets power when the contactor gets pulled in we, and it gets power and it closes? The circuit closes. L1 and L2 close to T1 and T2. And the condenser turns on. Okay, the condenser turns on, right? What components make up the condenser electrically? What do you mean? There are two electrical components inside this condenser, right? What are they? There are two components. I'm not talking about the coil. I'm not talking about the service ports. And I'm not talking about the contact or the dual capacitor or maybe a time delay relay. There are two vital components, electrical components that that are inside this machine. What are those two components? When I say them, you're going to you're going to be kicking yourself and and, and you want to you you'll want to put your own foot up your ass. <laughs> Okay, what, name the electrical components inside this condenser. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say the um... Come on people, he can do it. The, uh... He can do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See, I got him under pressure. Damn, he falls. He, man, you quickly fold under pressure. No, I oh man, I hope I'm never your co-defendant. <laughs> oh my God. I can't perform under pressure. I'm working on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you think? Give me one electrical component. Come on, Peter. The tool bag here? Yeah. Let me get the uh, Death Box Incorporated long screwdriver. Oh. Put the, we can put this down. Make sure you cover up the Death Box name on it. Okay, so. I am going to use this as a laser pointer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that right there? That's what? a fan. Is that an electrical component? 
Yes, right? Uh, you tell me. It, it, Does it, is it use electric to operate? Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm, so I'm you, want, you want to put your foot up your ass now or later? I asked what two electrical components make up this machine, and it's not the dual capacitor, not the contact. What it turns on? The, the yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. He did it. I hear electrical component, and I think of like L1, L2. Okay, electrical component. Well, the, okay, well, maybe let's give you the benefit of that maybe I, let's say I misspoke, but a this is an electrical component of the machine, the condenser fan motor and the compressor. What turns on now? Now let's ask the same question again. What turns on when the contactor gets twenty-four volts and closes? The compressor. And what else turns on? The yes, when the compressor turns on, mm -hmm. right? Right now it's off. Right, everything is off. Mm -hmm. See those pressures? They're the same. They're the same, right? Uh... So what ch also turns on when the contactor is closed? Come on, you just fucking said it. The compressor. Yes. Yeah. Now, when the compressor runs, what happens with the pressures? They should move. They they're move, not, right? They're not moving, so the compressor's dead. Oh, the compressor's not turning on, or it's not compressing. Now we need to figure out why. Let's open up this panel. We need a five six. The drill the five sixteenths. All right, we've successfully removed the electrical compartment cover. Let's get a pair of needle nose, and we'll need the voltmeter. I'll take the needle nose. First thing we're going to do. Now the power has been disconnected. We're going to ground out any potential shorts. If I was Ted Cook, I would take my fingers, go like this, lick them, and I go like that, right? And I'll pull Ted Cook and I'll use your fingers to self-discharge it. But I'm not Ted Cook and I don't expect me to be like him because I am not going to discharge a capacitor with my fingers because I'm not fucking nuts. <laughs> All right, so let's remove the wires from the dual capacitor. Right, and we know this dual capacitor is a 60 over 5, 65, right? Why am I checking this out first? Because the compressor is not running. So now let's let's check between C, which is common, and Herm and see what we got. Good. You have it reading for capacitance. C and Herm. Wow. Look at that. 12.6. Now check between C and fan. 4.9. Go back to Herm. 12.5. Look at that. Dead. It's not within a cat that within its rating, right? If this is a 65 and it's reading 12.5, what does that mean? And what is that gonna prevent operation of? There you go! Peter, fuck yeah, you got the answer. Oh my God, I feel so excited for you right now. And I know all of you also feel excited. Today is a marvelous day. September 30th, 2022, Friday. DGIF, he got it. All right, I'll go, we'll get a 65 dual capacitor. All right, there's my 65 dual capacitor. And listen, you hear that? And I'm not trying to, you know, do that, but... You can hear the liquid inside this capacitor. You can hear it swishing around in there. We know she's no bueno. All right, so unfortunately, we're still working with the Titan Pros, which I absolutely hate, but I'm not gonna throw away inventory. So the first thing we're gonna do, I know you see they're very smart. You grab the piece of band iron. But the first thing I want you to do is take the old dual capacitor strap and see if it works. Okay, well, it go. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fine. Okay, now what you're gonna do is that was there. So spin that around the other way. This, this. Yep, like that. And there's a, a little screw hole right there. Be very, very careful when you reattach that screw to that piece right there. You don't want to touch that right there. If you do that, we're gonna go up to the attic and we're gonna change the fuse inside the air handler. And I don't feel like changing ATC fuses right now. Okay, so it's kind of like playing a game of operation. Careful. Have you ever played that game of operation before with the with the with the, uh, the dead body board yeah. game that runs on power and it shocks with you tweezers? Way. Yeah, yeah. I think you can pull it off if you really want to play it safe, right? But I think you're not going to want to want to play it safe. I think I got it. I think you got it. Here's what you should do: you should take that screw mm -hmm. and put it through the two holes First. of the clamp, 
right? Because it's going to hold it together there. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Now, line that up. Now, let's see. Is that clamp really going to be no bueno? I think it's going to be no bueno. Yeah, the capacitor's going to fall right through it, isn't it? Is it? I think. All right, you know what? Get another screw. Yeah, it's not straight, right? Get another screw, like a 516 screw, and send that one home. We end up using the band iron. I wasn't happy. So here's our Herm, which is the blue wire. The brown was fan. And the other one, where's the other wire? Yellow. Yellow was common. Okay. Now, we still have our gauges attached. Mm -hmm. Capa capacitor, dual, Nuka dual capacitor is in place. Now we're gonna apply power. Disconnect's very sketchy. And now look, now they're moving around. See? And you learned, well, you didn't learn something. You already had the answer, Peter. You were playing us all. You were playing us all for, for Hollywood purposes. You know, you're trying to be a good actor. That's right. That's Before right. we're done, inside front cover, today's date, 9-30-22, dual capacitor. Perfect. Excellent. So now if someone else comes here and they take the front cover off, they're going to see that on the 30th day of September 2022, the dual capacitor was replaced. Little things like that, ladies and gentlemen, set us apart from the rest. Don't be a student. Be the professor. Be the teacher. Do the right thing, the right professional job every single time. Because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We're not getting any younger. We're getting older. And then when we die off, when we retire... And we can't, you know, put our boots on the ground anymore, right? And keeping them dry at the same time. The younger generation, we're going to have to instill the right values. That way they do things the right way. Easy peasy. All right, Peter, you ready for the next service call? You're going to take lead? Try. You'll try? Look at this guy. Just see him coming through. Go was coming through. Make, make a, make a hole. All right, we're going to another service call. This time we're going to a, a real Taj Mahal. They got about, I think they have nine HVAC systems. Yep. They got a lot of systems in this house, this Taj Mahal. Uh, really nice guy too, nice family. Um, 10 bedrooms, I think 15 bathrooms. You've been there before, but the dining room thermostat is no bueno, which means that for those who don't understand any Spanish whatsoever, no good. So we're gonna go check that out. We banged out that service call. You know, we replaced some UV bulbs up in the air handlers in the attic. And then we addressed the first floor air conditioning not working. And we fixed the short with the second floor making a buzzing sound at the relay. Um, so there's a short little video. Let's go on for the, the main content of today's video. 7373. Well, take a look at that, Peter. Barely connected. Maybe they tried to fix it and that's why it's off. That's a possibility. Was it broken and then someone tried taking it off the wall? What? Was it broken and someone tried taking it off the wall, the thermostat? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Uh -oh. You call him Mr. Boss? The what? You call him my boss? I don't call you. I don't want to call you a boss. No? Okay. I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what she said dining room. Oh, dining room? Yeah, which is this. Okay. Let's push this back in. Oh, it doesn't even, oh, it doesn't even want to go on. Now it does. Okay, it's uncool. Only dining room or everything? Dining room. Oh, okay. All right, so she's like, Peter. Mm -hmm. She's like, we tried pushing against the wall, we can't get it on. That's what the problem is. Like, it's time to change it. So I'm like, as long as there's wallpaper behind the base plate, we'll change it right now. Easy peasy. All right, a lot of wires, right? Yeah. What's different about this than others? RC and RH. Yes. No, nothing's different. Yeah. We just have a lot of wires there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but biggest thing to remember is that we have wallpaper behind the thermostat. Wow, that's see this. Whoever put this wallpaper in, 
knows. I hate it. I absolutely when hate it. When you hire it. a painter, right, or something like a handyman type of that, and they paint around the outlet cover or the switch cover or the, or the thermostat. Stupid. Use your head. So what did you say? A lot of wire? But, but now look how clean that is yeah, now. I know what they want to I know, but look, see, now it's nice and neat and clean, right? Yeah. So we have green, which controls fan. Yellow controls... Green is fan, yellow is... Condenser. Okay, very good. Cooling. The brown, you already said it. Um, White. White? What? I know it was touched to W. Okay, which is, what does it go to? We haven't talked about it all season long because we've been doing air conditioning and yeah. not heating. Exactly. And the red? That's uh, RC. Yeah, or R. R. Or RH. Yeah. So there's all of our wires. Nice, neat, and clean. And we had, we had wallpaper behind the, this thermostat. So now let's get the White Roger Series 80 thermostat, which you got for the truck yet? No. No. Okay. Let's get that. Or do we want to give him a Bosch? Do you have a Bosch? I do have a Bosch, but uh, let's call the home and ask. All right, I got all my wires secure. Okay, pop quiz again, Peter. Mm -hmm. What the RC and RH terminals on the old thermostat versus this thermostat? They were jumped out on the old one. Okay, and, they're, and are they jumped out on this one? No. Does that make a difference in the operation of a thermostat? Normally. Yes. Correct. Why is this thermostat? Why does this thermostat not have a jumper at these terminals? While he's thinking about that, take a look at this beautiful dining room, by the way. Beautiful. Seating for 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice inlay. Hardwood floors. Very, very, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Chandelier, eh, I would have done better. But very, very nice. Very, very nice. A nice textured wallpaper. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All right. So, Peter, mm -hmm. have you thought of a reason why this thermostat does not have a jumper between RH and RC? There's a picture of the back of the thermostat, and there is number three. And there that is. That's a little jumper wire. I, I, it's, it's nice that they put it there, but you know, to clip that is very hard because you don't want them to touch each other. Mm -hmm. So now that I silenced that phone call, we have a jumper. It's just not where it normally is. And you learn something new today. You learn something new every day. And I want you to take this thermos. Well, I was gonna give you this manual, but I wanna leave it here for the homeowner because this is a new thermostat for them. I don't think they have other ones like this, but it looks very nice because it even has my name right there, Pipe Doctor. I think they have one in their bedroom, actually. Oh, Did no, they? we ordered them a new one. Yeah, that's right. So let's snap that against the wall. Make sure that it's on off. Mm -hmm. Not that it makes a difference right now, but it's on off. Push it against the wall. It lines up. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set date and time unless you did it already. Yeah, did. Let's... Very nice. So we'll get an exit right now. Okay. A little bit of cocky right there, a little dirt right there. We'll clean that up. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to set it to cool. We're going to verify operation of cooling. So let's lower the thermostat. We've got the click. The cool is on. Let's go outside and make sure the condenser's on. Yep. Let's go make sure the right condenser's on because we have uh, five, six here. Let's go to this one. This is the dining room, I should believe. Ooh, covers open. Let's close that box up. Expose wires, you know, not good. Uh, that says dining room. See that? This rude. Two and a half ton. So we know it's on. Perfect. Now we're gonna tr try the heat. All right, so let's go back. Put the switch to off. It's gonna click off. That relay is gonna click off. We're gonna put it to heat. And we're gonna raise this to, let's raise it to 70. Okay? We have to click and let's go to the boiler. We 
one of two basement entrances. Yeah, nice lights. I think that's a wine cellar. Okay. Magilla. Let's go this way. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> Look at that wilder beast. <laughs> it's a big mother effer, by the way. A big mother effer. Yep. Big mother effer. Okay. Let's find dining room if it's labeled still. Uh, base supply, second supply, first supply, sunroom. God help me. <laughs> we can go to the we can go to the air handler, which is right across the hall. Nope, not this one. It's in this one. Let's see if we have some hot water circulating. The fan coil. Ow! Yep, it's good. Okay. A little comfort air. It's air handler with evaporator and integrated um, hydro coil. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, Lundquist. He retired, right? Yes, he retired. Lundquist retired. And it was really nice. It's going to be really epic about being a Mikey Pipes, I guess, Pipe Doctor employee, but also a Mikey Pipes viewer on YouTube, subscriber, is that last year I had the privilege of acquiring season tickets to the Nets. And I think you went once or twice, right? And it was, it was nice. Right on the court, right in the corner. So it's not center court, but come on, I'm not a baller like that. At least not yet. This year... Monday, I'll give you a hint. Monday was the first preseason game. Last night was the second preseason game. What is the team I'm referring to? And I have, uh, kind of similar to what it was at the Barclays Center with the Nets, I now have season tickets to... No? No. Wait, 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 wait. Because I, I know the Warriors... Monday play. night was... It's preseason basketball. Now. Monday night was the first preseason game of the season. Rangers. Hey! Bingo, bingo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. Mikey Pipes has row C in section 119 at the Garden. All games and preseason games. You want to go to a game? Want to go to a preseason game? Okay. All right, let's go to the app. Let's go to tickets. Let's go to manage tickets. All right, so last night... Okay, we have the preseason game. We have the Rangers versus the Boston Bruins, which is Wednesday, October 5th at 7 p.m. Or you want to go the following week, Tuesday, October 11th versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. We have, was it preseason? Preseason? No. So I'm going to give you the preseason game. Wednesday, October 5th. That is perfect because Wednesday, so we're, off. we're off Wednesday. That's correct. So I can't even go anyway because Wednesday is a holiday. One of these, another, but then that's it. I'm good for a while. Then I go on vacation. <laughs> so I am going to give you Wednesday, October 5th at 7 o'clock. I am going to transfer these tickets, seats one, seats three and four. I'm going to transfer them to you. Sweet. Cool? Thank you. You're welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, if this is the first time that you've been watching my channel, Mikey Pipes, Pipe Doctor, Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, I strongly advise you to stick around because I keep it real, uncut, unedited, raw on every single video. And if you want a little bit more, some, something like more uh, raunchy, check out Mikey Pipes Uncensored. We'll put a link right up there. Yeah, up there, somewhere up there, right? Click on it where we keep it unedited, uncensored, unfiltered, and uncensored raw. But. I say stick around because you never know what I'm going to do next. You never know what I'm going to do next. I could be giving away tickets to the Rangers. I could be giving away Milwaukee tools. I could be giving away ride-alongs. In the 9-11? I could be even giving you a ride-along in the Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. So make sure you stick around, smash that thumbs up button, and subscribe. Do it now. Thanks for tuning in. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.